Hello and welcome friends of PowerPoint. In this short series I want to give you a tutorial how to make quizzes that you can use as icebreakers for your meetings or as party games in weddings or family parties, I don't know. So let's start with Hangman. So the way it works is you can click on these forms and they will disappear. So this means you can have several lives if the people guess wrong or if the people guess correct, like say O point over here you can click on the forms and the people will um, well see what the um, what the letters are underneath all right so let's start what we need at first is of course we need the background form so let's draw this little um, rectangle over here let's change the filling to maybe something like this. Um, all right, let's do a little gradient over here because I think it looks nicer, just my personal opinion. And then, then let's create another rectangle above in let's say gray. Of course, you can do whatever you want. That's just my personal opinion because I think that, that looks nice. Maybe change the color here to something like this all right then we need the header over here so let's copy paste that rectangle and then what we want to do is we right click and then we choose edit points here and now we are able to edit the let's say the vectors of this form to maybe something like like this Okay, so I'm just doing this very fast. Um, important thing is you get the idea of what to do. So I think this looks okay for the sake of this um, tutorial. So then let's add the text, change to something like Arial font, change the size, and now we already have our header. All right, perfect. So now what else do we need? We need, of course, the um, forms for the life. So let's add here the heart. Let's change the color to something like red. And then we also need, of course, the form that hide the letters underneath. So over here is uh, underneath is the text, and here are the rectangles. So let's also change maybe the um, gradient to something like this. I don't know. Does it look nice? Maybe. <laughs> okay, let's do it like so. Okay, so last thing that we need is, of course, the text for the word that needs to be guessed. Um, let's write the text and then one last hint tip for you. You want to change a font that has equal spacing, like consolas, okay? So um, here all the letters, the I, the V, and the E, and so on, they all have the same space, which is um, very important for the thing what we want to do, because then it looks very equal in the spacing. Um, all right, so now then let's put that one also in the Nope. Let's put this also in front. And then the last thing that we need to do is, of course, we want to add the animation that when we click on the form, it disappears. So we go to animation, um, we go to add animation, and we go to hide here. And then we want to add a trigger. So um, when we go to our animation view here, um, you don't want to press here, right click and do start with clicking. That's wrong. No, you want to add a trigger here. Click on trigger, click on, and then click on the heart. Here, heart number 16. It's 16 because it's the 16th element on our canvas. Same thing here. So we want to um, add an animation and we want to add a trigger. Click on the rectangle number 16. All right, so let me check if it works. When you click here, it disappears. When you click here, it disappears. Perfect. All right, so last thing, we need to copy and paste. So let's copy and paste them. 
um, several times, then, then you can select these items and you go to um, here, form format, and you do um, the equal spacing. Then it looks quite nice, perfect. And then we need another O, V, E, R, P, O, E, N, T. So these are our items here. Let's create the rectangles. And then again, we do the equal spacing. This is kind of handy. All right, so this is how it works. And let's then do the check. So imagine they are guessing the P, P, O, V, E, R, P. And imagine that the audience is guessing wrong. They lose a life. And this is how it works. All right, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Thanks.